totally thought you were popping a beer, but it's oh. a do. It's a do. It's a Mountain Dew. <laughs> well, we wanted to keep it on the same time, same night, every week, so we don't throw anybody off. And so, and it's great if that's um, that people chose to be with their families. Yay, that's okay. That's why we're going to record it. Um, okay, so uh, how was your week with your uh, Cincy business? Because it was fun to catch up with you on Mama's Day. So, um, Are we surprises today, by the way, for Mama's Day? Yeah, my family, I didn't think they would really do much. And they. I woke up this morning and they let me sleep in. And they oh. went and got breakfast and brought me flowers. Oh, yeah. I love that. They were still able to get flowers. That's the best. Yeah. I, I'm not sure where they got them. I didn't ask, but they're beautiful. Yeah. Doesn't matter. <laughs> As for Cincy, um, I'm super excited about the um, Hi, Monique. summer collection. And I have two mm. people thinking about joining. Oh, how did uh, they come about joining? Um, one, it, actually, both of them have just been longtime customers. And now, I mean, every time I'm they order it. are you sure it's only twenty dollars even if it's for a discount yeah yeah okay good iron on the fire do you have them written down or are you just keep do i have what do you have them written down or you just keep them in your mind what do you mean written down their names written down to follow up as a, oh, no, one of them's awesome. my really one of them's my really good friend and the other one literally orders for me every other week so, but they're not on your prospect list. Oh yeah, they are. Did you, did you, any of you know who Jasmine was? The no. girl, I mean, either. I've never seen that name, but it's password protected. Do you guys have to use the password? I did. Yes. I did. yes. We had to use them unless we clicked on that. So I don't know how Jasmine got in here. Unless somebody added her later, we just have, oh, no, we got to meet her. Well, that's okay yeah. though. So Jasmine, if you listen to this replay, we, we want to meet you. We want to see your brush on the face. Okay, Monique, how about you? Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mum's Day. <laughs> Thank you. It was a nice day yesterday. Yes. Did you have a good day today? Me? Yeah. Uh, amazing. It is the best Mother's Day I've ever had in my whole life. Very good. Our uh, summer son, our firstborn from baseball, he and his wife made us a crab dinner. Isn't that fun? Oh, nice. I know. Nice. I know, I've never celebrated Mom's Day in my whole life. It was fun. There's oh, so many good. benefits to this pandemic. <laughs> there is. Yes, there are. Jasmine, introduce yourself. We don't recognize you, okay? We see your face on there. And we would love to hear, oh, what's up? I'm telling. Hi, hi, your face. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at work, so I'm kind of sneaking, but I'm on, um, <laughs> I'm on Brandy's team. I'm on oh. her downline. Yay! Welcome! <laughs> Hi. <laughs> um, and joined... you're eating. <laughs> <laughs> that too. <laughs> so I joined um, Sensi in October of last year. And hey. <laughs> and I didn't really start taking off until February of this year. Ooh. And I just took off running. <laughs> so I talked to Brandy. I try to talk to her once a day, even if I just say hi. And whenever I talk to her, it's either I hit a new goal or I sign a new teammate. <laughs> oh, wow. Yay. Uh, I'm, actually so, working, I'm actually talking to somebody right now <laughs> in between working and listening here who and wants eating. to sign up as a, a teammate. Oh, do you have a teammate? Will this be your first one or what? I have a team of 14. Get the hell out. <laughs> yes. You are small. Okay, so what do you think was your pivot point, Jasmine? You said you didn't really start... Um, tell, um, them I want, tell them you're busy. I wanted to, I actually to just, in the beginning, I just signed up because I love Scentsy, but then I was like, I want to kind of not have to spend so much of my own money to feed my habit, but um, at the same time, 
pay off credit cards. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so that that so when I really like hmm. No, go ahead. When I really sat down and just like decided that I was gonna do it, I just there's like no stopping me right now. <laughs> oh my golly. I feel that. I feel that. It, it speaks huge volumes that you're at your uh, another job right now and you squeeze in a little bit of uh, teamwork, self development, and inspiration. That's impressive because uh, that's what leaders do. That's awesome. That's so fun. Well, good. We expect to see you here every single Sunday because you're already proven there is no excuse. And it's Mama's Day. So happy Mama's Day to everybody on here. That's so great. Thank you. And we'll keep this short and sweet because it is Mama's Day. Um, so this week, uh, it was kind of, last week it was a little bit wrinkly for you guys to put together a collage of your 20 hot dogs, wasn't it? And we just said, build your dream team, put together a collage of 20 people, so it's $20, but it's 20 and 20. So we wanted you just to at least have a list of 20. So, I mean, still, you, you're, we want you to work on that. And our big challenge this next week, our 2020, so every week we want to focus on at least one thing. It just makes it easier for us to chew as we tackle these elephants of goals. And, you know, uh, we want to be goal getters, not just goal makers. So we want to just do our dreams, not just dream, right? So this week is about creating your fab five. Your most amazing five people that are on your radar that you have thought about, whether you've asked them or not, it does not matter. But you want to build your list of 100, your, your family tree. And we're going to be putting memory joggers. You know what memory joggers are? Those are the lists that say, oh, yeah, what about so-and-so? What about your barista? What about your uh, child's sister's aunt? What about your, I mean, there are just all these different people and professions for you to jot down somebody in your world and then think of somebody in their world and go, okay, I remember seeing her. I, I wonder if she has a sister. I'm going to ask her if she knows somebody who, somebody who would just like little income. Or I wonder if she knows, because you're going to go to that. In your head, we're not telling you to go make this list and go talk to all of them. That's not what this is about. In fact, this is never about when you create your family tree and you get your dream team put together. It's never about you just going right out there and asking them. Because when you go out and ask them to join, then that's about you. But when you invite them to the opportunity and you're authentic about it, that's about them. So that's all it is. It's an invitation with zero connection to the outcome. And when you can honestly start integrating the invite and getting more comfortable with how you offer the opportunity, invite them to come play with you, invite them to start this journey, invite them to make some side income, invite them to travel with you, invite them, then literally we're not going to be emotionally attached to the outcome. And so the more we try it, the more comfortable we're going to get with that. So your, your big focus this week is to build that list of people that you could, you will, or you have invited to the opportunity and literally highlight our, or star your, five, your fab five. And then those fab five are going to be who you are going to invite to the Cincy opportunity, to this gift of what this can do for somebody. But by golly, you better be, a, be super authentic about it. And when you go to do that, if you have any reservation and you're not quite sure what to say, how to say it, how to approach them, post it on 2020 and we'll all start a dialogue. And okay, what would be the first thing you would say? Or okay, I said this, this is what she said. What would be something good next? And then we'll just keep it going in the thread. And then all of us get to apply the conversation in our own personal comfort. Any questions about your fun focus of the week? Isn't it simple? <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay, then. List of 100. We, we call our family tree. And then anytime you see something, literally, you guys, you're a leader. You don't have to wait for all of us who have these ridiculous titles to post things and show things. You want to be a leader, you start being the proactive one. You start being the one that shares and shows anything that inspires because then you'll be influential. And that's what leaders do. 
So yeah, I have some because of my past experience. Well, those of you who have another job, I guarantee you've gotten some super training somehow that can apply to the Cincy business. Post that either on 2020 or Team Talk or your page or all of the above. Share it because that's how we all learn and grow from each other. So just because we said we're going to post some memory joggers doesn't mean that you can't. But I am also going to share, if, if you're anything like I was, I was a little scared to, to post on my upline or at that time it was corporate. They called it corporate. I call it home office now. I, I was reserved because I was a little worried what others would think or, or that it's already been shown or it's not that good or but. <laughs> Get that crap out of your head. We're all a team. We're all family. We're all learning and growing, and there's no judging. So, yeah, if there's something that you have used, utilized, heard about, read about, seen, watched, anything that helps us get sponsoring on the mind of who in our world, outside of our friends and family, then we want to hear about it or see about it. And then, by all means, share when you've tried. Okay, any thoughts? I was going to say that I think that it's so important for the newer people to share how they're doing it because like for me, I haven't started from scratch in years. So there's so many new ideas and kind of like um, branches that maybe new people have fresher on their minds. Whereas my list is kind of like, if I meet somebody, I add to it. I don't really have like, I have leaves that I add. I don't, I haven't had any new branches in a long time. So I'd love some new ideas on, on branches, if that makes sense. Love, love. Yeah. Ooh, that makes me that see just that share has inspired me to want to create something to help others. So now I really, I want to build a physical visual tree with leaves mm -hmm. and branches. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to work on that. I love it. Okay. Yeah, cool. Okay. Any other thoughts, questions? I have a question. So is the, the tree, is it people that we want to join us or is it just people that we're supposed to talk to? Yes. Well. <laughs> <laughs> it's people in your world, Jasmine, that you know of. It doesn't mean that you're going to go absolutely talk to every single one of them right now. That's not real. But when you start writing down the people in your life and then who they know, then that triggers other people and then what happens because you're writing them down it gives you a starting point because you probably go back to the thickest branch because that's typically who you're closest to or you have a connection or a relationship with and that's who you start with and if it's the most comfortable thing for you to do then you just start talking to them about hey you want to do a really fun facebook party want to do a bingo party want to do a scavenger hunt if that's the most comfortable but i'm going to tell you right now you're comfortable at selling because we've all been allowed to get comfortable at selling and we know it was something that we practiced and practiced. We're not comfortable, some of us are not comfortable at sponsoring because you've never really allowed yourself because we keep thinking we have to know it all before we can do it or what if they say no. But when we're selling, we're not att attached to the answer no because we love it so much we are not really concerned whether or not it's a yes or no. We're really concerned if our customer is happy. So why isn't it the same when we go to invite this opportunity to other people that why aren't we really concerned about their happiness, not whether or not they join our team. I just want to know, uh, why don't you try this thing? Because you, you just said you would love some part-time income. You're working on your degree in insurance. So this would be a great fill in time. And then you and I could do a fun show together. Oh my gosh, you would be so good at this because, and then you're just so real about it, but you're not going to get comfortable at it if you don't practice it. We just need to practice the, the share part selling a lot more, which is why we tend to get um, uh, more practice at it, if that makes sense. So did that answer your question, Jasmine? Yes, it did. So basically just get excited about your business, basically, and let them get excited with you. Yes, you be contagious. You be you, be contagious. That's right. <laughs> and she is. She is very oh, contagious. I mean, right I now. felt I felt it even just now when she was hovering, trying to hide from at work while she's apparently on lunch break or dinner break or something. I love it. I love it so much. <laughs> That's I awesome. have a confession. I've never actually done the list of one hundred, so I need to do that. Or list. any list. Mm -mm. Hey, I love that because we're never too veteranized to start mm -hmm. something new. Did you see the video that Jeanette posted? Um, all you see is her hand. It's she posted a video on 2020 about um, 
like creating your circle, creating your, your dream team. And it's just a hand. Um, but that, I, cause I was the same way. I had never really made a, a list or anything like that. And I watched that video and I was like, oh, okay. And it's just really awesome to, um, to see how she thinks. She's like, okay, I'm going to put my mom on here, but then I'm also going to put my mom's hairdresser and my mom's best friend and my mom's neighbor and my mom's church group. And then I'm going to put my sister. So it's not just your direct circle, your direct team, but think like the second layer, the second ring of, of your circle. Yeah. Yeah, those are, I mean, she just gave you so many ways to trigger mm -hmm. ideas of who you could at least, you don't have to even know their name. You'll just write my mom's sister's friend. Yeah. That would be my aunt. So, but you get the idea. You don't, it, it really is yeah. just trying to think of everybody in our world that we didn't even realize we had some kind of connection to. And then that's how we can eventually build our comfort on how we either invite them ourselves or mm -hmm. we go to my mom and say, mom, who do you know? Or Bertha, who do you know that would really love to go to Italy when we find out what our incentive trip? Or who do you know that just loves the idea of socializing on, on computers? Who do you know who is really good with people? And hopefully when you get comfortable asking that, they're going to say, uh, you know what? Me. I love to do social media. I may as well earn a little income. Or you get the idea. So sometimes that's an indirect way of inviting the opportunity. But it's just about your comfort and how you do it. But by golly, you got to write the names down because you're meeting people so many times you don't even know. So I don't think I've ever been more efficient since moving to Florida uh, with my uh, family tree because I really don't know these people. But before in Idaho, I would always have in my mind how my connection was made with them so I could keep them on the radar. And I would keep them on my big list, my big chart. And then uh, every month we, I mean, it's big. And I know that's how we did it. We had a big post-it note. And every month we would transfer the list of prospects over to the, the next month if they had not joined and then we, then we go from there. But now I keep it in a little booklet and I have more efficient notes because I don't, I don't, I don't know how they're connected to me other than uh, where did I meet them. I started just friending people on Facebook like every day and I try and friend five new people. So I'll, I'll like go to my sister's Facebook and I'll be like, okay, so who of her friends looks fun? <laughs> and, and I'll just start friending them and I'll pick five and I'll send them a message that I friend requested them. And I'll just be like, Hey, you know, da, 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 you know, somehow I try to figure out how to relate to them. Like, Oh, remember we met at the baby shower or we, um, we all went camping together last summer and da, 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 whatever. And that has really helped me during this quarantine because people that, have never bought from me like my sister was a consultant for a while and she was on check mark every every three months you know um she just wasn't into it and that's fine but I'm like you clearly didn't ask your friends because they are all buying from me right now uh, but um but I just started friend requesting them her her husband's aunt she joined my team and you know like just start that. friending people and we can all do it. And it's real because you go to your friends and just say, hey, because yeah. I'm just thinking right now, I'll go to my nieces and say, hey, you're, did you know that Abby's my niece? How do you guys know each other? I friend requested yeah. you. Uh, that's it. Yep. Perfect. Love. And then I just comment on their stuff. And then it's like we're friends. I mean, like BFFs. That's how Facebook rolls. <laughs> mm -hmm. We know. And because they're new and I'm commenting on them, they're showing up more and more and vice versa. So mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one of them just had a $500 party for me. I, I mean, I've known him since her and my sister have been friends for 20 years and I've never really talked to her. Oh, see how since he connects. Mm. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Well, tomorrow the summer collection comes out. So let's see how many people you can connect with with that. And when you think of somebody with a nose who loves something in that, write their name down because that is a potential new team member for you to at least invite. That's all we're doing. We're inviting them 
to the opportunity. Yeah. So what if they say no? So what if they say yes? You want the same emotional connection to both responses, even though I get really super excited. But even when you really do genuinely mean it, when you're inviting them to this opportunity, then you don't get butt hurt over a no. You don't take it personally. You don't sit there beating yourself up because... But yeah, if they say no and you weren't comfortable, then there was something that didn't fit. And that's where you just reflect on it and move on. That's, that's real. That's human. It's like offering them a, a, a stick of gum. We've talked about this. We don't, if when you offer somebody and you invite them to take a piece of your gum, you mean it. It's not when they say no, you go, oh, oh no. You don't want my gum? That's why, why. why why do you think I did something to it? Do you think my gum is bad? Did I not get the right kind? Is it not the right flavor? Is it not sugar free? Why? Why didn't you take my gum? Why did I offer it too late? How come? What you didn't think I meant it? What? No. And this opportunity that we're talking about is way more impactful than a piece of gum. So hopefully that helps you guys as you look at the summer collection. Look at that or good vibes collection look at that as literally a fun little channel for you to add yet another person to your tree. All right, guys. Love you big. Can't wait to see how wait. this is going to be booming. I yep. just want to say happy Mother's Day. Thank you for being our Scentsy Mama. Oh, <laughs> thank Take you. care of us. And I'm so young. <laughs> you are. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> Purely my pleasure, believe me. I love our Sunday night chats. That's why I didn't want to cancel them. It really is not about you. It's about me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for everything, right. Dennett. <laughs> thank you. Thanks, you guys. Have a great week. When, uh, this is going to be a big week. I know it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. Okay, love you. Bye. Okay, okay. bye. Bye.